I met Claude today. And Claude is not a human, it's actually an AI that will take data like this one and create for you an amazing interactive dashboard. Do you want to know more about Claude? Let's go. Let's take a sneak peek at our data first. So here I have a sales dashboard. So I have a few rows where we see the region, the country, the item type, whether it's online or offline channel, the order priority, and all the financial metrics such as cost, revenue, and profit. I have saved this dashboard or this data set as CSV. If you don't know how to do it, you just go to File, Save As, and here you select Comma Delimited or CSV. Let's just close everything. Let's go to the internet and use Claude.ai. Press Enter and you will get this page. Now you can create your account by signing up with Google. I already did it. It's pretty straightforward. It will ask you for your name and some other simple information. So I'm just going to log in. And there is Claude. Good morning. Perfect. Let's start by enabling an important feature. So here you go under your email. You have feature preview and you have to enable this artifact. So you just click on it. It's on. We close the window and we start by uploading our data set. So add content. This is my dashboard data. If it doesn't upload, it means you need to convert it to CSV. I showed you how to do it. And we're going to start with our prompt. It's pretty simple. I'm going to say, please suggest five graphs I can have in a dashboard from this data. Explain to me why you chose those graphs. Press enter. We ask Claude, let's see what it will come up with. So you can see it is already writing some codes. It is already telling me what are the graphs. We're going to look at them. So let's see what we got. Let's go up and check each one of them. So the first one is actually regional sales comparison bar chart. Makes sense actually. It will explain to you why, why it's useful and so on. So you can read through all this. You have sales channel distribution which is a pie chart between online and offline sales channels. Then we look at the third one, item type profitability stack chart. This might not be the best, I think, but we can use it for a sample dashboard. Number four, monthly sales trend. It makes sense. Maybe we have seasonality in the data. And finally, order priority distribution, which you can see actually here on the right side. So for each one of them, it has written a code and you can preview it. Now let's assume that I want all those and I want to tell Claude to do my dashboard. So I'm going to say I want a dashboard with all those graphs. I want the theme to be dark because I like dark theme. Font to be white and titles I can't even write. You can see to be in white font. Also, please use the data in my file to populate the charts. I'm using this prompt because you never know with AI. Sometimes it makes mistakes and you always have to check the output. You cannot take it blindly because sometimes the mistakes are so silly. So let's see what we will get. Let's press enter. And again, feel free to change the prompt. And for example, if you don't like one chart, you can ask Claude to use another type of chart, etc. The cool thing is that it is giving you the whole code for the dashboard, which is insane. Because if you have an IT team, you can take this code, give it to them. It has the CSS, it has the HTML. They can connect this code to the data source. So automatically your dashboard can refresh. Let me just show you the code for a second. And if you are a little bit into IT, you can see that this is my data set. So by changing this constant data and connecting it to the real data source, you might have a dashboard that will automatically refresh. Now enough of IT things, let's go for the dashboard. And you can see it's pretty cool, right? It's super interactive. You just hover the mouse, you get the data, the numbers. For example, this one is not nice because it's not in white. So you can ask Claude to regenerate the dashboard and have this online in white, no problem. This is my monthly sales trend. These are the other things. And this is finally my donuts. Now, if you want to see this dashboard published, you just click on publish, publish and copy link. 
Now this is very dangerous because you have now the dashboard on the internet. So anybody with the link can access this data set. And I know in companies you have data privacies. But let me show you the dashboard and I will tell you how to get by with this data privacy problem. So I'm just going to go here, paste the link, press enter. And this is how our dashboard looks like. Imagine you did this in just five minutes. This is insane and I'm sure you can impress your management. Now, in terms of data privacy, here is the solution. You can give it fake data to Claude, then you don't have any problem. You will see what you get as a dashboard. You will get the code for the dashboard and you can take this code internally, replace this constant numbers, for example, and then publish it internally. So you will have the same result. You get the IDs from Claude and you have it within your network, within your cloud, etc. 